Trogador, the board game. Oh, it's so exciting. I mean, it would be, except now we have the Super Ultimate Deluxe Edition Wormwood Extraordinary Awesome Burnination Kit. All right, this is the unboxing of the Wormwood Trogdor game. Uh, so first off, uh, I, uh, gonna start talking in my normal voice, but, uh, thank you, Wormwood, for making this thing possible, uh, and also a shout-out goes to Matt and Missy and the Brothers Chaps and everybody who worked on this thing. I'm really excited to see what happens. My name is Bill Zanetti, and I am doing this awesome thing with one hand. So first off, it comes with a certificate of burnination. The Bill Melkacker Zanetti. Achieving untold awesomeness while waiting in line at the zoo. 21st day of May of our King of Town 2019. Gold Excellent Circle. Oh, it's signed by Strongbad. That's awesome. And there's, you know, milk that's burning. So, I'm the milk hacker. That's fantastic. Anyway, uh, so I got that. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, we have some trading cards. An extra set. Oh, here's a completely clear trog draw. Well, that's a little difficult to see. There we go. Completely clear drug door meeple. And then we have some extra cards here. Is there anything else? Oh, there's a piece of paper inside. Your rule for buying a fancy pants version of Trogdor the board game is a thank you. I made some bonus items and keeper cards for you to try out. They haven't been play tested at all, so they might break the game in new and hilarious ways. Have a time. Strong bad. It's really amazing. Like, all these look like they're, like, personally drawn. So, like, literally. I feel like this is actual artwork from the Brothers Chaps. And if it is, thank you guys. I love you. You're fantastic. So, let's take a look at some of these super great... We haven't even gotten to the game yet. We're looking at these. Super great Helm of Trogdor. Use at your own risk. Burn a nation. Making whooshes. Okay. Hot... There is sauce. Super great item of Trogdor. Use at your own risk. Let's just turn them over this way. Keeper of Trogdor. Pentamost. Using your action card. Bottom of the discard pile. Okay. And finally, there's the last one. Tunnel breath. All right, enough of these cards. Let's take a look. I don't want to get any of this destroyed, so it goes on the table here. This looks like the shield of the kingdom. Wow. It's peasantry, I think. All right, let's see what we got here. So, this is like in, like an amazing box inside. Oh my God, the thing is so heavy. Oh. Consummate, consummate edition. Guy wouldn't know she'll majesty if it hit him on the face. That happened once. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. Sorry for the severe close-ups of the consummate edition of this box. Wormwood Gaming. There's that. There's the shield. And there's the outer box of this thing. Without its majesty. That's interesting. No majesty for Trogdor. And there's a Craftsman's Promise. Craftsman, the, don't they like make stuff from Sears tools or something? There's only one acceptable outcome for a craftsman product that can take personal pride in an absolutely satisfied client. If you're unsatisfied for any reason at all, 
We will fully refund replace this item free of charge. We guarantee our products and we'll always pay for shipping. Look at that. Promise at wormwoodgaming.com. I wonder if they'll refund it and allow me... Now, this is disappointing here. This, like, got beat up on the corner. That's not good on the shipping there. All right. Ask them for another box, but let's see what we can do on the inside. Let's see if the, the good stuff is here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that beautiful game. Oh, wow. I am so excited to open this thing up. Okay. So, <clears throat> I have to move some stuff over. We're going to put it on the table. Look at that. This is all inlaid in the wood. Oh, trog door never looks so good. It actually has a, um, a really neat wooden smell. I'm not sure if it's pine or something else, but this is a really cool, cool smell. Right, so this entire thing comes up, which means I have to put you down for a second. <sighs> Hold on, we're almost there. All right, what you get. If that was still in there, this is the unedited edition, so. Here is the game, and it is a Lazy Susan, as promised. Look at all that stuff I have on my table, but look at that. Lazy Susan, and I had these little cards inside about the different types of wood. Look at this. Maple, babinga, and wenge wood. Okay. Oh, it even shows you exactly where the wood comes from. Okay, so now we know where their wood is from. Now let's take a look at the game. <gasps> There's more stuff on the inside. But first, we have the board. Look at all that. That's fantastic. There. All the playing field. All right, let's see what we got inside this thing. This is a whole nother step. I didn't, I haven't opened this at all yet, so we're gonna see. Oh, the trog meter. So here we are. Flame hammer, flame helmet, trog hammer, trog meter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nothing on the other side. I don't know why that's separate like that. These are like custom foam inserts for everything. Um, the void. So where are all the parts? Well, they must be. Oh, look, this is blue tape. Goodbye, blue tape. We will miss you. Uh, it's actually not even blue. It's actually a really... This is not like painter's tape, like it's a darker shade of blue. Look at that. That's even, that's a quality detail right there. A darker shade of tape. All right. So now that the tape is off to the side, we're going to put that that way. I think all these foam inserts will come out. Let's see how this works. So this goes up like that. And there's more. Nothing. It's just, that's it. So, yeah, that's beautiful. And now what you do is you take your hopefully previously received game, Trogdor the board game, we take it out of this case. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with this case, but this one's just so much cooler. So everything is supposed to fit into the new case perfectly. So first off, Operate Manuel does not seem to fit anywhere in this, so maybe it'll just go on top. Then we have these, the actual tiles. Do the tiles fit? Oh, they do, look at that. The tiles fit in these cute little places here. 
yellow tiles. I don't know how many tiles I'm supposed to put in each one. But we're just going to put in the tiles. This is kind of a cool thing. I feel like I'm assembling my own game now. All right, so there's the tiles. They're all pretty much even there. Although, to make this look nicer, I should probably, you know, make it so it, they're all facing the same direction. After all, that's a big deal. Oops. Okay. So we have that. Then we have the meeples. We have different options for meeples. Look at all these options for cards and meeples. Stack them to the heavens! I can write a song called Stack them to the heavens! What more do you want? Oh, Marshy is so creepy as hell. Why? Why are you so creepy? All right. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to turn him over. And there's a the old trog meter. Look at look at the improvement with that. That's the old versus wooden. Yes. So that one stays in the old box, I guess. Um, we have those cards. And we have extra meeples here because we have the the Homestar Runner pack of meeples. And then, of course, we have the ultimate three-dimensional meeples, which are completely 3D. I don't know if this is designed for this, but it sure looks like it fits in perfectly. So that's where Trogdor goes, and all the cards will eventually fit in here perfectly. So let's do that. Okay, so we put the cards in the right places here. It's pretty easy to figure out where the cards go. At least some of them, anyway. We're gonna stack them to the heavens directions. Also the void. The void. Also the void. That's funny. So some cards go there. And then we have those cards that go there, clearly. Maybe. I feel like there's too many cards there. Um, I guess this is where all the flat meeples go, or something. The pieces. I don't know, I feel like I have too many of these. Does anybody know, like, am I supposed to, like, remove the padding underneath all this? I thought the padding was supposed to stay there. But I'm starting to think, like, the padding has to go away to fit everything in here. Holy cow. Look at all these old meeples. All right. All the characters, they're all there. And then these, they go, oh, something has fallen. But look at all that. All right, I think that's as pretty much as good as this gets, at least for my version. So now what we do is we put the lid on and it stays like that. And it's a beautiful ornament for my uh, coffee table. So this will remain on my coffee table forever or until I, you know, decide not to leave it on my coffee table. So I don't want it to get ruined. Anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this unboxing. Um, I want to thank Lucky Yates. I'm not entirely sure why. And if you enjoyed this unboxing, please like this video and subscribe and ring that bell. Because that's what every other YouTube video says and it works for them. So the algorithm must work for me. So please actually do that. And, uh, oh, almost forgot to put the directions inside. So, whoops. What a travesty it would be if I didn't, uh, 
you know, put in the directions. Oh, actually, I have more stuff to put inside. I forgot. I have additional, additional stuff. See, this is the bonus round. If you already left, then you missed this part. If you already left, you missed this part because you didn't get to see it. You got to stay till the very end here. So we have all the other stuff that came with this that has to go in the box, like the perfectly clear Trogdor meeple. That gets to go in there. And these extra cards that don't make any sense, but they'll go in there too. And uh, the Certificate of Burner Nation, that can go in there, along with the directions. And yeah, now I think it's complete. I don't know if this stuff's supposed to go in here or not, but you know. All right, now we are complete. Thank you, Trogdor, for making this awesome. All right, bye-bye.